what's up guys welcome to the channel thank you so much for tuning in it is beautiful in florida right now and today is my last day on vacation but i think we're gonna hit it off with the bang not sure hopefully everything lines up hopefully we're gonna be going drag racing today finishing it up and then i gotta go back to work on monday so we're gonna enjoy this last week i have to go do some errands i gotta go renew my tag Ugh. and um gotta pay for the car so uh, it's the worst day of the month worst day of the month of paying for this car but it's the thing i love and let's get the day started and i'll see you guys in a second all right rolling up to the dmv and i have the coolest dmv my dmv is always empty but there's always some guy up there trying to do some type of you know political agenda promotion type stuff but i'm gonna be in and out of my dmv in just a moment i'd recommend this dmv to anybody over here in ocala it's just so quick in and out maybe you and this guy's awesome all right he's the, he's the hero he over here guided me all right guys i'll see you guys in a second so i've been sitting at the dmv i go in to get checked and um I get to get my my license renewed and my license by uh, registration, and I find out my license is suspended. I don't have a record, and um, ultimately I'm told is that basically I have some debit card issues, and um, they have renewed my debit card and then for another renew I lost my card. My fault. I did not renew. I did not know that my my payment automatic payment didn't withdraw because of the fact that i got a new card it got declined when they tried to draw it so i called them i gave them the new card number and they're telling me that i have to pay like 220 dollars a month now and before it wasn't anywhere near that it was like 150 so i'm like why the change and she said and they told me that it's you owe um it's because of the lapse of payments and I was explaining I'm like if it, it was a mistake on my part But it wasn't like I wasn't paying my my insurance for years or something I was just like being fraudulent or anything like that So they didn't have so the guy was really realistically was just cutting me on the short end so I asked to speak to a supervisor and he's just telling me that like he's the last option and You know like not the last option, but he's just saying it. Oh the next person gonna tell you the same thing so to supervisor and so far they're trying to help me out they got it down but what sucks is they got to take certain things off my coverage um they're just keeping everything on there that is normal um that comes with the regular insurance policy i had extra things on there before for extra protection so i'm gonna have to be extra careful but right now they're trying to help me out and do something so i'll let you know in just a second if they actually go above and beyond for me i don't know we'll see i've been in a geico party geico for 12 years never had an issue and it's my first time ever having a hiccup and it just happens to be when i'm getting my license um my registration renewed oh my gosh all right so um i go in there and like i just mentioned to you guys before i was on the phone with geico and uh, i just went straight in to handle the situation they renewed my policy guys um they took away a couple things but i just gotta be careful on my driving for the next six months and then they'll review the policy and then lower my my premium back down um so ultimately guys uh my license got suspended um i didn't know this and they suspended my license so now i had to renew i had to pay the back payment of whatever that i missed because of the card um, situation Let's see if i can get some lighting here and then on top of that i had to um i had to pay that i had to pay going forward for the next month you know for that policy and then on top of that i had to pay 150 dollars just to activate my license again and get that taken off the record and then i had to renew my light registration so i spent probably three let's see 200 440 dollars just now so yeah i'm kind of broke so now i gotta pay my car yeah, that was that's the day. You know, I saw my vacation's wrapping up, but you know, I'm not gonna be, be positive, and I'm sure good things are to come. But don't mess around with your insurance. Make sure you pay. So going forward, how I fixed it is so I know is obviously put a calendar on my on my stuff, but also um, they're gonna text me whenever a payment is having issues, so they have me on automatic text just look up the best thing i don't check my emails all the time that's one reason and then also my mail i don't check that all the time either um because everything nowadays is e-documents um 
and shame on me because that's the only two options usually people contact. So text message is the next thing and they updated that. All right, so I'm done talking about it. I'm over it. Don't look at the past and keep on moving forward. See you in a second, see what's up next. All right guys, so now we've hopped forward a little bit. Um, as you guys saw the bad news, you know, I got my license suspended, but I got it back. Cost me some extra dollars, didn't expect to pay for it, but you know, who cares? You know, we're just gonna continue on with this vlog and see how this day goes. As you can see, my boys, hey, where y'all at? There's Bevo, there's Mia, and there's one more missing. King, where you at? King, and there's King, there's my boy. That's my big one. All right, if you guys are looking for some studs, I got two right there, and two German Shepherds. And the uh, mini Australian Shepherd is intact. So if you have a mini Australian Shepherd, hit me up. All right, let's hop in the car and let's go for some errand runs. All right, here's the beast in all her glory. And then I want to show you guys something if you guys are interested. This is my worst investment yet, and that's my Ninja 650. Um, if you guys are interested in it, hit me up. It is for sale. Oh, man. Alright, nice and clean. And I'll explain why this is my worst investment ever. Alright, let me, uh, give me just a second, I'm gonna mount the camera. One sec. Right, so, that Ninja, uh, is for sale if you guys are interested in it. I haven't posted it on any, like, social media sites because... Man. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I haven't posted it on any social media sites because... Um, I bought a brand new first mistake, right? I bought it right off the lot, financed it, and um, so I'm still like I'm pretty under, you know, as far as that goes. It's got no miles on it, it's got barely, I think, 60 miles on it, tops, if that. Um, it's been sitting in my garage. Uh, the only thing that's wrong on it is the battery's dead because it's been sitting. Um, it's only been through one tank of gas. Uh, why did I buy it? Well, my wife wanted it. My wife wanted to get the bike, and she still loves it. She still likes it, and it's just that she has to uh, get on it. You know, that's the problem. So realistically, um, I've made enough equity now, payments on it, that I think I'll probably just break even um, on it. It's still brand new. Uh, I do want to do one thing to it, and I want to get rid of the, the back of the where the license plate is. I actually want to have that more seamless. Um, where the license plate holder is. Just want to replace that. Other than that, I mean, it's the dumbest investment I have. I make a payment every month and it kills me every single time. Um, if you're not gonna ride it, don't buy it. Uh, I bought it for my wife as a gift. I thought she'd, you know, ride it a little bit more. But what happened was she's too short for the bike. So she picked it, but when she got on the bike, um, it was too tall for her and then you know of course the sale salesman is telling me yeah you can lower it so I lowered it I get it lowered and it's still too tall for her so you know once she gets some boots and things like that she can ride it but you know it's just like I'm putting more money into this thing and we it's barely getting driven around I can ride it but as far as my um, safety reasons it's not the best idea me driving around with a you know LVAD so that's the only reason why I don't drive myself it's just dangerous um, I've, I've driven it around the block. I've never left the neighborhood um, just for safety reasons And uh, that's pretty much it. I would love to ride the bike I personally rather have like a, a cruiser bike so I can kind of enjoy this beautiful weather But you know, it's just for safety reasons and all that. I'm on blood thinner So God forbid I fall or something like that, you know, that could be really bad um, Other than that, you know, that's don't waste your money on it, but it's on for sale if it's available. Um, my wife don't know that it's for sale yet, but that's why I haven't posted it on Facebook yet. Because if I do post it on Facebook, she goes, oh, I don't, you know, I'll, I'll wear it, I'll drive it, I'll drive it, I'll keep it, I'll keep it. And then doesn't drive it, and you know, every month it's just like another payment. It's just another waste of money. So, um, if you're watching these videos, please don't skip the ads. Just watch them through. Go to those six seconds. Those really do help a lot. Um, that's where our money comes in. Views do help a lot, don't get me wrong, but the ads, you know, click not clicking through the ads and just suffering through those six seconds is a big difference. So I really appreciate you guys always, always, always. Um, yeah, that, 
that's a bummer. So, moral of this video, pay your insurance and don't waste your money on motorcycles if you're not gonna ride it. <laughs> My wife is probably gonna kill me if she watches this. She probably thinks that I'm, tar I'm picking on her, I'm not. I love my wife dearly. I love to make her happy, that's the cool thing. I really do, all in all, after all this stuff is done and and uh, once I get everything, you know, like finances wise kind of went upside down on us after the whole hospital stay, because we're normal, you know what I mean? A lot of things had to pop up. Um, I was irresponsible in certain purchases and things like that. It's, you know, more that. She's the more responsible one and it comes to the big picture of uh, money, uh, spending things. I have an understanding of things a lot better as far as how it works, but you know, I'm impulsive. And uh, um, uh, when all this is said and done, I really do want to buy her a truck. She loves the trucks. She wants a big pickup truck. She wants a Denali or what are those uh, GMC Sierra type things. I personally want her to get a Dodge Ram, you know, so. I've been trying to talk her into it. She's just not sold. I think I need to find the right Dodge Ram to show her. Um, but whatever. So hopefully I, I get her into that very soon. Uh, so not very soon, but soon enough where I can make her happy. She's she's a happy hog. Oh, wait, I didn't call my wife a hog. She's a happy woman. <laughs> now I'm on the way to the store. I gotta clean up this house. This house is dirty. I've been on vacation. I haven't done a thing. This is vacation. I don't want to do a thing. So now I'm going to the store to buy some things for the house to clean up a little bit. Not spending too much money. And then hopefully it cooks something good tonight. I'm just not sure what I'm going to make. But that will be in the video. I promise. So got done just going in the Publix. Got me some burger meat. Making some burgers. Um, and I'm having a steak tonight for dinner. Uh... I was hoping, the reason why, I, would, I just wanted one little burger. And then the problem is, man, you go to Publix or these stores and they sell you, you know, it's a pound and a half of meat. And so I'm just going to do is I'm going to portion it, make myself a nice little small sandwich burger. And then tonight having steak. And not sure if I'm going to do sous vide or if I'm going to grill it. I don't have any charcoal, so it's like I'm sous videing it. And we're going to play with the flamethrower. But... Man, it's such a beautiful day today. It's 64 degrees outside. Look at this weather. Holy cow, it's just beautiful. Sorry if you just saw the sun. 64 degrees outside, and it's going to stay like that all day. And then it'll drop down later tonight. It's just gorgeous weather. And so, usually my grilling partners are my brother and my uncle. And they're nowhere to be found, you know. <laughs> they're all working. And uh, then my, uh, my other friends, they're all working too. Everybody's working on a Sunday for some reason, so it's just gonna be me today. Hopefully somebody comes by later. My wife is gone. Um, she'll be out busy all day today, so it's just myself. All right, I'll see you guys in just a second. So we're ready to eat some steak now. Um, I'm gonna show you my simple recipe. I'm a very simple man. Here's my steak. I love garlic powder. There's a little bit of garlic powder on here. It's like a lot, but um, salt, pepper, and then this is a ribeye. So we're basically we're gonna sous vide it just because I don't have any charcoal. Don't feel like grilling today and getting all dirty. So sous vide is gonna sit for about an hour and a half it's gonna, in the water. And then when it's done, I'm gonna sear it and I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. And that's gonna wrap up my video. So we're gonna finish up the steak and then wrap up this video, guys. Be right back. Here we are, finished product, fast forwarded. Two hours, and now um, I seared it with my flamethrower. If you want to see all that stuff, how I did it r roughly with the flamethrower, it's going to be on my Instagram page, and that's in the description below. I'm going to throw some butter on there, and then I'm going to sear all, use the sear all to actually melt it and kind of have that kind of the dip to dip with. But that is all. Here's my sous vide. And guys, that's my vid. I want to thank you guys so much um, for tuning in today. Um, it's not that much, but it's something to make sure that I'm giving you guys something. It's not the most amazing content, but um, at least I'm trying to do my best to even to be consistent so you guys see my face um, throughout the week. Uh, other than that, I will be trying to get some cars. You know, it's getting towards the end of the year, so I'm hoping to get my hands on some cool cars. I'm um, just been very tough. Um, we were supposed to go drag racing, as I said in the beginning of the video. Problem was, um, some of the friends fell through, they couldn't get to it. 
they misunderstood the times and things like that, so we ended up not going. So we're gonna try to find another day to go drag racing. I'm sorry for the car content not being there. But I thank you guys so much, and if you have any questions on the LVAT stuff all day, every day, my cooking stuff, ask me whatever you need. Um, but I wanna thank you guys so much. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next vid. Peace.